Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a B-movie review. So this is also going to form part three of my Thor Mockbuster Marathon. So this one's actually made in 2008, so it's actually the earliest of the four Thor-related films that I'm going, to, that I'm going to be reviewing. And this one was actually originally not made anything to do with Thor. This one's actually just called A Viking Saga, and that was its title. However, obviously, with, with Thor sort of coming out, it was kind of, it had the sort of the, uh, the secondary name added to it for a lot of later releases, and henceforth it's been known as the Viking Saga, Son of Thor. So realistically, this one it isn't necessarily a mockbuster in the strictest sense, but it has been repackaged to try and cash in on the, on the, the sort of title Thor, you know, and, and, the, and the, the press that goes with that. Now, I'll be honest with you, I thought Thunderstorm, the original film I, I reviewed in this series, was bad, but my God, this one beats even that. So this one is a very, very, uh, very, very small budget film. Um, I think it was only three hundred thousand dollars. I think the budget was something like that. And the one advantage I would say, this is the only thing I would say that, that is, that is going to be sort of good about this film. It looks it was filmed actually on location in Denmark. So it does have some sort of genuine sort of Nordic filming locations, but that is it. The plot is very very simple. It's a tale of a, a, a young a boy gets attacked, his village is attacked when he was, when he, obviously when he's, when he's young, and his, uh, his father sends him away to, to uh, live with his uncle before, before, he, before he's killed, basically. And um, when he sort of grows up to a man, he basically wants to sort of, he ends up finding the people responsible for the sort of the, the ransacking of his village. Um, and obviously, you know, has, has a big fight and gets revenge. So that's basically the plot, ultimately, in, in, in a small nutshell. But I'll be honest with you, this film is, is so amateurish, it really isn't worth going into a hell of a lot of detail. Um, now, the actors were pretty much all uh, all Nordic, and I, it, it has been redubbed um, just to, obviously, so to Western audiences uh, can actually understand what's going on. I've got a feeling it may have been, they may have been speaking English, because it does kind of match up roughly with the, the, the lip movements, but obviously their accents were so thick, I get the impression that it possibly was was overdubbed. I'm not 100% sure about it. It could have even, even been, um, you know, it could have even been speaking native tongue. I'm not really 100% sure. But it looked to me like they were trying to speak English and it had been redubbed. The, Amer the director was American, so uh, I think probably that chance of that, that was the case. But it's it's such a it's such a low budget film, and the, the camera work, the direction, I'm sorry to say, is just awful. Um, it uses way, way too much slowed slow mo, and when I say slow mo, I mean it's, it, are we talking so slow? It's, it, it looks like this, the, the, you know, the, the DVD is frozen. It's kind of so jerky and slow. It's unwatchable. The camera's all over the place. The fighting is is sort of um, is extremely sort of unrealistic and not actually choreographed. I get the impression. I think they were pretty much just sort of uh, told to sort of go at it and kind of you know, rumble around or what have you. The acting is, is you know, it's amateur. It's, there's, there's nothing, I, I don't have anything really, unfortunately, positive to say about this film. Now, you, you could say, say, oh, you know, it's uh, it's a very low-budget film, you can't really criticise it. And I, and, I, and I do accept the budget is low, but I'm, I'm sorry, but this this film just is, is simply not worth the time and trouble. Even if you're a hardened fancy film fan, I guarantee you, pretty much, that you will not be enjoying this film. It's just it's just too cheap looking to really get anything out of unless you are part of the people who have made this film. Um, at least I say the, the Thunderstorm film maybe has some sort of imagination to it and uh, they may be trying to do something a little bit more well, that was beyond their means ultimately, but it's ultimately a bit more original. This one is just, it's boring. It, it's boring, unfortunately, as well. It's just, the, the characters aren't interesting. There's... The, the, there's no actual uh, Thor in this. Um, he's, his name's dropped a couple of times, but only as in my Thor protector and blah, blah, stuff like that, really. He's not actually Thor's son at all. He's just some guy's son. Uh, like I said, that was just added onto it to sort of really make, make the sort of film uh, sound related to the, the actual Thor movie. Anyway, so uh, this one is going to be a, a measly one out of, uh, of uh, ten so, at the three Thor-related um, films that I've seen that aren't actual Thor, uh, this one is by, is the worst. I need one more to go for my Mockbuster Marathon. 
So anyway, have you seen it? What do you think of it compared to the rest of them? And do you agree with my rating, my harsh rating? Uh, leave me a comment. I look forward to you next time. Bye for now.